Hey y'all, here is Cold Shot by Steve Ray Vaughan. So one major thing that I need to bring up first that I forgot to bring up first in the last video, but you gotta detune a half step to play Steve Ray Vaughan stuff. Almost all of it, if not all of it. Uh, same thing with Jimi Hendrix. A lot of other bands did the same thing. Guns N' Roses, Van Halen did the same thing. Um, so anyway, here is Cold Shot by Steve Ray Vaughan. We're starting with an A minor chord right here. We got five, five, and five with that first finger. So think about like a one, two, three, four, and. So we're starting with an upbeat on the and of four. And it's kind of got a swing kind of feel to it too. So we're gonna have like two, three, four. So it has some, you're doing some chicks on those, you're trying to mute those strings to get percussive effects for more groove coming out of that. So two, three, four. And then you're hitting the five and the seven on the D string, so. And that's all those sevens down here on the bottom three strings to so all three of those fives, so. And he's even, you could be like hitting like open strings even as he's going to the different notes. It's kind of how dirty you want to make it, you know, so. If you want to make it kind of cleaner. Of course, you don't want it too clean. And then when the verse starts, he kind of hits that one hard. Make sure you hit that one real hard. And then you're going to come up to... So more than the like... This one really has a... So it's kind of more relying on that note there than we did down here. So... And then it kind of hits on that A bass. I think when you get into kind of the chorus there, he kind of uses that bass note more than he did was choppier on the verse. So we gotta, let's go from the top again. Or let's go from that, let's go from that stop. I'm walking out anyway. Two, three, and. Could even just skip a chord getting back there. And that's your E7 sharp 9, you got the big E7, 6, 7, 8. So kind of one and 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 and. So all together. Let's say bam bam. We're going into that D minor. That's what we had up here on this. 12th fret, you know, this is basically A minor position, this is D minor position up here. That's the four chord, so it's a very standard thing to do in a blues song. So. Now when he gets into a little solo kind of thing, there's a couple things you can do here. You can play this little five here, and you know this this is a very common bend note in that blues scale, right? E A minor pentatonic going on there. So you could be like a that kind of thing. So he's bending while holding this five down here. And he's using this five here so he can make different notes going on here. So it's a two string type thing. And I don't know whether he finger picked a thing like that or hybrid picked it with a pick and a finger or if he just did it with his pick. You know what I mean? Like, Because if you put that string in the middle in there too and make it a three string thing, it still sounds pretty good. So that kind of stuff basically. You could also get into the... 
where you have the two sevens on the second string and you get that finger flattened down to it. That kind of stuff. So you got. I'm not going to get into the specifics of what his soloman was doing, but you got all that kind of uh, pentatonic type stuff. He gets up in here, you know, using some of those higher notes and things. But basically, if you wanted to get into that little melody of which matches the verse melody, I was sorry, you know, that kind of thing. So anyway, that's basically the gist of Cold Shot by Steve Ray Vaughan. And uh, much more Steve Ray Vaughan coming up. Please like and subscribe if you dig it. Check out my other video for Lenny. And I'm going to get into, I think, Crossfire and Tightrope next. So thanks a lot. Uh, enjoy. I'm Damon Wood. Like, subscribe. See you later.